And let's start first Thank of all you. with the Naira. I think the interest, most interesting thing about the Naira these days is the, the, the decline we're seeing in supply from the um, central bank. But we've seen Naira stable um, yesterday, but over the course of this week, we've seen it weaken slightly. Your thoughts on the activity around the Naira right now? Yeah, the, 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 the supply really from central bank have actually been reduced and this, is a, this, is, this has been supported by the offshore flow that we have seen over the uh, m past month uh, by virtue of the flows into TBs, into bond markets and into the equity markets uh, respectively. So that has uh, made a kind of support for the Naira. And that is why we have seen even at times that the supply is even so much that even from CBN perspective, uh, the interbank rate will actually be trading lower than uh, CBN uh, levels. So really, it's a good time for them to build the reserve and then the oil prices internationally still remains very high. So, and then we have also seen the, co we've not really seen the corresponding increase in, in, in terms of the reserve, but with the SS uh, uh, account, crude account, we have also seen growth there. So good one for Nigeria. And then many thanks to the flows. Well, many thanks to the flows. And of course, big, big news this week around the bond market is that inclusion of Nigeria in the Barclays Bond Index. Uh, 40 billion naira of bonds are eligible. But what can you tell us about how much exactly we can expect in, uh, to, be, to be transferred into Nigeria? I think for the JP Morgan um, in bond index inclusion, we did see about $1.5 billion flow into Nigeria. Your thoughts on how much you can see as a result of this inclusion into the Barclays index? Yeah, the, the waiting I gathered is going to happen sometimes in January and until that time before you can take that waiting to get the exact amount that will be coming into Nigeria. However, it's not expected to be as high as the $1.5 uh, billion from that of the JP Morgan. However, any addition to the $1.5 billion is still going to be something significant, which is why the, the response in the, in the secondary market has been is that they don't want to be caught unaware, like right. it happens in the case of uh, JP Morgan, where the, in, uh, the, 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 the listing was done and people are not rightly uh, positioned. So this time around, any, every information is very critical and crucial for, for the market. And that is why you have seen that we have seen a lot of rallies even ahead of the, the listing. The listing is going to be sometimes in March next year and but by January we should be able to see the waiting and then from the waiting we can know the exact exact size that will be coming. However, talking to most of the international clients, they have already started predicting that it's not going to be as significant as that of the JP Morgan. But, but like I said, any addition to JP Morgan will be significant for but our market. This, this is clearly very, very positive for the Naira. Where, where do you think the Naira may settle as a result of this going into the first quarter of next year? Of course, a lot will depend, will depend on the um, oil price and where that goes. But uh, we're sitting at 157.30 right now. Where do you think we can end the year in, in, on the back of this news? I think that is going to be taken in two ways. The first one is the fact that our central bank is reducing supplies into the market and so they're building the reserve. So I expect central bank to continue to do that. Any major flows probably coming from NNPC and the rest of them might probably be taken over by central bank for them to build their reserve. So technically, reserve is expected to be growing and that is also expected to, because of the flows that you are going to be getting as a result of all of this listing, should make the Naira to be stable or be appreciating gradually. Mm. So by the end of the year, really, I expect that market should be at probably 156 levels. Interesting. And of course, that's more strengthening for the Naira. But we'll see how that plays out. Meanwhile, of course, another major news this week has been the um, upgrade by S&P of Nigeria's rating. What impact mm -hmm. has this had on our bonds? Yeah, it's have, it's, it's have a very good uh, impact on our bond. The, the reality of it is that we have actually before now some companies, uh, uh, fund managers that are struggling to, uh, to get credit approvals for them to be able to jump into the JP Morgan index. But because they are not very comfortable with, uh, uh, with the rating of Nigeria. So with this improved rating, we have not seen them say coming. So the offshore that you have seen are actually say coming because they are not getting their credit approval uh, for that of the JP Morgan rather than that of even Barclays. So it's going to, so with Barclays coming on board also, it makes processing in terms of credit easier for their various clients that have not had interest in Nigeria before now. But clearly, when we had that news about JP Morgan, including Nigeria, into the bond index, 
we saw quite significant um, demand for the bonds. Mm -hmm. Now we're talking about treasury bills. Right now, where is, where is the foreign money going to? Is it more to the bond market or is it more to the T-bill market? Of course, with T-bill yield as high as 15%, that is clearly very attractive to some investors. Yeah, it is attractive, but you know, these guys, they're looking at duration. So for them, in terms of duration, the, the biggest duration is still in the bond, in still in the bond uh, market. So notwithstanding the fact that the bonds are at 12 point something percent, uh, it's still good for them on the long run for them to invest in the bond than the TBs. However, for those of them that are hedge funds and short term uh, uh, players, they will definitely be going for the TBs. And it is actually at the auction that you get 15 percent from the secondary market is 14 percent that they can get the last one was at 15 percent from the secondary uh, from the auction but at the primary uh, but at the secondary market is going to be around 14 percent however these particular maturities of the november for uh, 2013 have not started trading because it has not touched the 50 billion uh, benchmark for the bond and uh, for the tb to start trading so once it start trading we are definitely we might probably not see 15 percent we might see around 14 percent